All right, so now we're gonna talk with the engine compartment. Um, technically, it's part of the front of the bus, so if you get that section of the test, make sure you inspect the engine. Uh, so always start with the fluids, and the most important one, the engine oil, right here, the yellow cap. And then we're gonna tell the tester what we're gonna do. We don't have to demonstrate it, we just tell them what we would do. So we'll pull the dipstick out, wipe it, put it back in, take it out. The level should be between add and full. Move over here to the coolant. Make sure that uh, with the engine cold, we could use a side glass to remove the cap. The level should be between that and full. Check the power steering fluid. Make sure that it's between add and full. Uh, we could use a side glass on this. We have the power steering uh, reservoir. Make sure it's securely mounted, not broken, not leaking. Uh, the air compressor, somewhere behind the bus. You know, if I could see it, I would inspect the air compressor, make sure it's securely mounted, not broken, not damaged, not cracked, that it's not leaking. Uh, the air hoses are connected to it tightly and not leaking. Um, that component is gear driven. So we have components that are belt driven or gear driven. So it's gear driven. Um, you can come back to the power steering, also gear driven on this bus. So we don't have to inspect any belts on those two. Um, alternator. Securely mounted, not broken, not damaged. We have wires connected to it. So we inspect the wires, make sure they're connected tightly. There's no corrosion and the insulation is intact. It is belt driven. We're gonna inspect the belt in just a second. We move on to the water pump. Securely mounted, not broken, not damaged, not leaking. Next to it, we have the hose that runs into the water pump. Make sure it's secure, not dry rotted, not cracked, not leaking, not frayed. Clamps are tight. The water pump is also belt driven. On this bus, the belt runs both the alternator and the water pump, so we inspect the belt to make sure it's in good condition. We uh, can tug on it or we can just tell the tester that it's snug, no more than three quarters inch of play. There's no dry rot, no cracks, no frame fibers. Uh, overall, we inspect the hoses. I usually use this one as my guiding point here. So make sure all the hoses on the bus are secure with the clamps tight, no dry rod, no cuts, bubbles, abrasions, no leaks. And then finally the exhaust system. What we could see here, make sure that it's securely mounted, not broken, not damaged, not cracked, with all the clamps tight, no rust trails and no leaks. Also, no signs of leaks, carbon buildup or soot. So make sure we use those words. Um, on this specific exhaust, there are some signs of rust trails. We mentioned that to the tester. That way it gives us credit. Any problems uh, that we see, we point them out so that we can get credit for them. And the last item I would inspect on the engine compartment, we can't see it, is the diesel exhaust fluid. The DEF, we make sure the reservoir is securely mounted and it's not leaking and the cap is secure. And also we check the level, make sure it's at least one eighth full.